And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs, a time when a special man came forward a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear. A man whom they took prisoner and hid away. A man whose name is Yahweh bin Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh bin Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years. A story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam, Olam shall, shall you hey wav hey. The universe, the universe of you hey wav hey. hey. Brought, Brought to you, you by, by the nation. nation. Of you, you, working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death, this is your choice in this, the year 6002, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel, and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the Day of Judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse. And it has. We alerted you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end, the Messiah would be revealed. And at that time, he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh bin Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Heh. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, laws and statutes of God Yudhe Wave, then we will 
have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us. However, in order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yishraya. We are discussing the commandments of Yahweh. The first two commandments ever given to man were given to Adam, which were to dress and to keep the Garden of Eden. We are discussing the word keep. Last week, we discussed Acts chapter 7, verse 37, with respect to the fact that Moses told the children of Israel that Yahweh shall raise up unto them a prophet like unto himself, and that they should hear him. We talked about the responsibility or role of a prophet. A prophet, we told you, means a person who tells others a message he has from God. Since there are God's many and Lord's many, we identified the correct name of the God that Moses was talking about. We read Exodus chapter 9 verse 1 and learned that he was talking about the God of the Hebrews. We went to the books of understanding, the dictionaries, and learned that whenever the words Lord and God appear in large and small capital letters, the original Hebrew reads YHWH. We validated that YHWH is used as a symbol for the ineffable name of God, which are the four Hebrew letters yud Hey wav Hey Yahweh. We explain that the word ineffable means not to be uttered and unspoken. From this information, we told you that in order to be able to identify this one prophet is first, he will tell others a message he has from Yahweh. And second, the name that is not to be uttered or spoken, yud Hey wav Hey, he will boldly utter and speak it. We also learned that the word prophet means a person chosen to speak for Yahweh and to guide his people, the people of Israel. To guide was defined as to lead, teach, and govern. We asserted that the descendants of Adam, especially the tribe of Judah, are to be on the lookout for a man-child to be born who will tell them and others of a message he has from the God of the Hebrews, yud he wav he Yahweh. We told you that this one prophet was chosen to speak for yud he wav he Yahweh and to lead, teach, and govern the people of Israel. Before we get our discussion concerning the people of Israel, remember we told you in previous programs that from the 12 tribes of Israel, only the one tribe, Judah, was brought to the cities of the South, the 11 Confederate States of America, by ships and were sold as bondmen and bondwomen to their enemies. Since they were sold as slaves, they then became the property of another people and carried the descriptive names of this people, their slave owners, such as Jackson, Jordan, and King, as it is this day. Keep in mind that Moses told the children of Israel that Yahweh himself shall raise up one prophet from among their brethren, like unto himself, who would lead, teach, and govern the people of Israel. Let's see what happened to the people of Israel that caused Yahweh to raise one up 
from among them. Let us open our Bible and read Psalm chapter 83, verses 2 through 4, and it reads, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The people of Israel are a people who have been cut off from being a nation and cut off from the remembrance of their name. What does cut off mean? According to the Oxford Study Dictionary, copyright 1991, on page 168, cut off by definition means to prevent from continuing. The people of Israel, in fact, the whole tribe of Judah, was brought into captivity and sold as property to another people which prevented them from continuing as a nation. In addition, for over 400 years, this people, Judah, have been unconscious to their true knowledge of their name, Israel, and also their true history, culture, language, and the name of their God, yud heh wav -Hey Yahweh. Question. Who are the people, Judah, walking around in the USA today? who fit this description? Answer, the so-called colored, Negro, Black, and or African American are the only people walking around in America with no knowledge of being a nation and no knowledge of their true name. These are the people of Israel to whom the one prophet, Yahweh, will raise up like unto Moses, to tell them and others that his message is from yud heh wav -Hey, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews. Let us prove this point. On the authority of the Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodell, copyright 1978, on page 982, raise is synonymous to bring back to life. To be brought back to life is the same as being brought back to consciousness. Documented in Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, copyright 1989, on page 178, brethren is the plural of brothers. On page 182, brothers is derived from the Greek word frater, which means member of the same clan. Clan is equivalent to tribe. Thus, a prophet shall Yahweh bring back to life from among the tribe of Judah, the unconscious so-called blacks of America, who will give them a message from Yahweh that will bring them back to a conscious state of mind concerning their true nation and their true name. This man child will make it clear to the people of Israel, Judah, and the world that he has been divinely chosen to speak for yud heh wav -Hey Yahweh and will lead, teach, and govern the people of Israel. What is the name of this one prophet? The answer can be found in Revelation chapter 1, verse 5, which reads in part, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. This one prophet is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. Notice the scripture reads, Jesus Christ. Since there is no letter J in the Hebrew language, next week we will reveal the true name of the one prophet born from among Judah, like unto Moses, who shall return 
or restore the children of Israel to the Garden of Eden, the promised land. As we maintain our course of singling out the family of Adam from the perspective of the word watch and its relationship to keep. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mahdi is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Enlightened One is here. I bear witness, witness to you today that the one all religions have been speaking of for over 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh. The United States government has declared war against Yahweh ben Yahweh and the nation of Yahweh in its Project Megiddo report released by the FBI in October 1999. Do you know that this is fulfillment of prophecy? It was prophesied in Revelation 12:7 that there was war in heaven. Michael the Messiah and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. In the government's report, the nation of Yahweh is labeled as extreme terrorists, accused of believing that white people are incarnate manifestations of evil. We are even accused of preparing for a race war and are practicing paramilitary operations, none of which are true. This is a divinely declared word war whose end result was already declared from the beginning. Since war has been declared, read the Nation of Yahweh's battle plan called Operation Word War on the internet at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. What is the Tetragrammaton? What are the laws and teachings of Yahweh ben Yahweh? What is the meaning of the crucifixion? What are the laws of the covenant? How can you work to balance justice? How can you hear the voice of Yahweh? Learn the answers to these questions and many more on the internet when you visit the new Yahweh Ben Yahweh website. The address is www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Most people are not aware of the fact that America is in the Bible. She is cryptically called Babylon, Revelation 18.2. In 1986, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, sent the president, vice president, his cabinet, every senator, and congressman, the book Yahweh Judges America, which warned them of the inevitable destruction of America. This book explains all that the prophets said would come upon America in the Day of Judgment. You can now read what Yahweh ben Yahweh told the government over 10 years ago. To get a copy of Yahweh Judges America, call the number on your screen today.
is worthy? Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh Ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. Woe be unto the pastors that have destroyed and scattered the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Therefore Yahweh, God of Israel, speaks against the pastors that feed his people. Why? Because the pastors have scattered the flock of Yahweh and have driven us away from the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of Yahweh, and have not visited us with the truth of Yahweh. Behold, Yahweh is visiting upon the pastors the evil of their doings, and Yahweh is gathering the remnant of his flock out of all countries where he has driven us, and is bringing us again to our fold. And we are being fruitful, and we are increasing as well. And Yahweh will set up shepherds over us, which shall feed us the truth of Yahweh. And we shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall we be lacking. Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 through 4. Yahweh ben Yahweh, the Messiah, is the true shepherd and judge. And as for us, his flock, behold, Yahweh judges between cattle and cattle, between the rams and the he-goats. The fat cattle have eaten up the good pasture, and then treaded down with their feet the residue of their pastures, and drink of deep waters, but foul the residue with their feet. And as the flock of Yahweh, we have been forced to eat that which have been trotted down with their feet, and we have been forced to drink that which they have fouled with their feet. Therefore Yahweh is saying unto the fat cattle, Behold, I, even I myself, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, because you have thrust with side and with shoulder and pushed all the diseased with your horns till you have scattered my flock abroad. Further, Yahweh is saying, I will save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle. And I, Yahweh, will set up one shepherd, Yahweh ben Yahweh, over my flock, and he shall feed them, Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 17 through 23. This passage reveals why Yahweh will judge between cattle and cattle. These fat cattle represent the many leaders of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is made clear through the Hebrew word for cattle, 
which is Bahima. Remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection. It, all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> that just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace, and I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleichem. Yahweh ben Yahweh, the Messiah, is the true shepherd and judge, for he is gathering the remnant of his flock from all the countries where we have been scattered. Woe be unto the pastors that have scattered the lost sheep of the house of Israel and led them away from keeping the laws of Yahweh. Know that Yahweh himself will visit upon the pastors the evil of their doings. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikar Desh Shemayaka, Tavo Malkuteaka, Yase Razonka, Kiva Shemayim Kain Baaretz, Et Lekum Kukainu, Tain La Nu Hayom, Uslak La Nu, Ah Kati Enu, Kimosha Sol Kim, Gamanak Nu, La Koteum La Nu, Veal tefi enu, le de nisayon. King kal senu, min hara, killer ka, hamum laha, veha givera, veha tiferet, leolame, olamin sila. We thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal king, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. Sila. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh bin Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleichem! To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call... Ask about the special discount on The Persecution of Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Volume 2. Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the divine mind of Yahweh Ben Yahweh on the internet at the address on the screen.